Welcome. Welcome here to this new segment that we're working on. Uh, I guess we'll call it the uh, KMB Sportscast for now. Uh, hey. before, we'll fi- before we figure out a real good name for it. Um, but if you're uh, new to the channel, make sure to like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Uh, check out the channel. We've got other podcasts. we got movie reviews, all this stuff. So make sure to uh, you know check that out. Um, also... Uh, if you just look for Snurdcast on Twitch, uh, it's starting to uh, stream a little bit more. Nice, so, um, nice. If you're looking for that, I'm playing random games: Dragon Ball Z Fighters, Dragon Quest, uh, some indie games and stuff. So um, yeah, I'll put the link in the description. I'll be doing that a couple hours, once or twice every week. So uh, yeah, check that out. But here we're gonna be sticking with this and doing some sports talk. Hey. And um, I guess we can just jump jump right into it because. The biggest news that just happened a few hours ago is James Harden got traded to the Nets, bro. Yeah, man. Like, I don't know. I didn't think it was going to happen, to be honest Me with neither. you. I didn't think it was going to be happening. Like, I thought that, like, he was just going to sit there and cry the whole entire time in Houston and, like, they were going to, like, do some lame shit like they did, kind of like this. Like, if I'm uh, if I'm not mistaken, right, he's, like, technically not able to practice with a team or anything or, like, he didn't practice with a team today or anything. So did you see what happened with things he said last night after the game, after he played the Lakers? No, I actually didn't, no. So um, this dude pretty much said, that this team has isn't enough to win, pretty much, and that there's nothing. There's pretty much he did everything he can do, and we can't win. That's pretty much what he said. To like sum it up, he uh, it wasn't too much. John Wall came on and after him, and he was like, "You, like, you really gonna give up on your team after nine games? Like, it's not the end of the world, you know what I mean?" Yeah. And after that, um, people are saying like, "You can't have that kind of." You can't have that dude come back into your locker room the next no, game. No, 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 yeah, it's all about a culture. You're talking about culture, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure, definitely. Um, yeah, no, I I mean, I get it, man. Like, I think that, like, James Harden should definitely take some um, accountability. You know what I mean? Like, he definitely, like I said, like, he wants to sit there and say, like, it's not enough. Like, you're not enough. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, he I don't care. In... Sorry. No, no, I was just going to say, he, he came into uh, to training camp out of shape he was for sure pretty big and for sure. uh yeah dude i don't and then just like i said on top of it too like it doesn't matter that you score 37 points a game and all that stuff it's like at the end of the day like you gotta win championships as a team yeah, you know what i mean or like you have to have like another co-part that actually works well with you like not to be that way like you know what i mean like kobe bryant and all the greats like they had a team yeah michael jordan had a team yeah. you know I mean? michael jordan was outstanding but he had a team exactly um freaking so i guess we could talk more about the nets since there's mm-hmm. more drama with Kyrie. Have you heard about that? Yeah, boy. Talking about him gigging without Dude. his mask. Dude. Hey. So what pretty much is happening is he's going to get a um, uh, four. So he's he's gone for four, at least the next four games. They're not too sure what they're going to do with the COVID protocol and everything. Each game he misses, he could miss more than that, but each game he misses uh, the salary for that game. So it's going to be nearly... Four hundred thousand dollars, like almost five hundred thousand dollars. A game. A game. Yeah. So he's gonna miss at least four games and without pay because because he violated his contract. You know. What I, I mean? see what you're saying. Yeah. The Nets are gonna have James Harden right for now. They have Harden now. Um. Yeah, they'll have Harden, and then like I said, like they'll have KD, and then like um. Man, they got rid of Jared Allen, which I, I'm not mad at because they gave it to the Cavs. So I'll take him. You know what I mean? But, um, like, I don't know. Like, what else is, like, that core value to that team, though, besides them right there? I guess that three would be cool once Kyrie gets back. But where's their big man? Like, what's their... Uh, DeAndre Jordan, but, I mean... Uh, yeah. I mean, he's uh, good for, like, a few blocks, right? For sure. For sure. Like, definitely that. But, like, again, like you said, like, he's a good, like, role player. Yeah. He's a good guy to come off the bench, not your starter. Yeah, he can't stretch the floor or anything. And they got rid of... Uh, uh, Karis LeVert. They yeah. did. They did. He went to the Pacers. Pacers. And Oladipo went to the Rockets. Mm-hmm. And so John Wall and Oladipo? Mm-hmm. John Wall and Oladipo? Cousins and PJ Tucker with uh, Eric Gordon. Dude. It's a playoff team. I that's think. a that's a decent team. Yeah. That's actually that, a decent team. The Rockets didn't get shafted there. And they have a bunch of picks, um, but they're all like later picks, like in 20, 23 to like 27. Well, when you're trying to rebuild, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when you have that many picks going further like that, it really doesn't matter. Like, you're trying to rebuild and go forward from it. So, I mean, that actually wasn't that bad of a trade, actually. Like, I was actually expecting to kind of have some more, like, mess to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, definitely with 2020 being how asshole of a fucking year it was. 
they definitely expected some weird shit to go in there, but that wasn't that bad of a trade. Like, whatever, Harden got out of his bad situation. Now the Rockets can go forward from what they want to do. Because, like you said, like, he's becoming a cancer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bad. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So, like, at the end of the day, like. Yeah, nope. And, like, you know, the fact that fucking Steve Nash wants to take that on now and fucking he wants to be there with fucking Kevin Durant, who already has a big ass fucking ego, and Kyrie Irving, who has and a bigger James, fucking ego. Harden. I want to see how they're going to mesh together, Kyrie and James, because they're they like. They both need the ball. Uh oh, and Katie needs a ball too. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know what that what's gonna happen with there. Some of these, one of them's gonna have to take a step back and. This isn't two K. Uh oh. <laughs> do you start Harden? Do you have him come off the bench? I mean, what do you, what do you, do you do? have to start Harden. What do you mean? Do you start Harden? You have to. Start He's not gonna do them? anything else. You start all three of them at the same time. I mean, if you want personal opinion, I mean, I really wouldn't. I would definitely have, like, a chippy rotation. Like, I'd have a star probably on the bench or coming off and, like, playing decent minutes, though. That'd be, like, some uh, Greg Popovich Spurs thing. Pretty much, dude. Yeah. Pretty much. Like, that, and that's what I was trying to break down, I think, earlier when we were kind of talking about something. Like, at the end of the day, bro, like, it's all fucking team mentality, bro. Like, it doesn't matter. Who cares that you're a fucking great, like, all Like, who cares if you're an all-star and you're on the bench? Great. That means mm-hmm. that our fucking in-depth bench is going to be fucking rocking. Exactly. I just thought about it. Like, imagine James Harden coming off your bench. Dude. And you got Kyrie and Kevin Durant already starting, and then, like, when the fucking, you know, like, when everyone is, like, tired and beat up, and, like, your fucking people come out there, oh, I got these good people. No, you got James Harden come off the Dude. fucking bench that Durant. drops, like, 37 fucking points. I think, I would hope he, I, I, would, I mean, like we said, like, this just happened, so we don't really know exactly what's going to come. Oh, with we know him. what's going to happen with him. Um, I don't know when's the next time they're playing. Like, with, they, the Nets just played the Knicks tonight, which I believe they lost. Hmm, Probably. Uh, the Knicks lost, I mean. But I think this is a championship team. Nets won. What's up? You think this is a championship team, the Nets? Mm, like, with the talent, yes. But, like, with the chemistry and what's going on, probably not. Mm-hmm. Especially with all this bullshit going on with Kyrie Irving going out and, like, mm-hmm. all this other stuff. Like, come on, man. It's going to be... It's going to be... It's going to be shit, bro. Like, it's going to be literally shit, like, this whole entire year right now. And, like, it's going to suck. Like, Kevin Durant's going to probably take on all the workload, take on the stress after this injury. Yep. Fantastic. <laughs> Here we go. Did you see him last night or the night before? Yeah. Like when he was playing? He, did like, he went the fuck off, but it's like, dude, did you see how much like workload that was for him? He lot. shouldn't have be taking that on. He did a lot. Yeah, he had to do a lot. Yeah, the Lakers are playing tonight. Mm-hmm. They beat the Thunder. They're, they're actually looking pretty solid this year, the Lakers. For sure. They're, they're probably, I, I, I see them going back to back, unless something, injuries happen, but they're pretty deep. Bring back to my heart, bro. <laughs> He's on the sixes, and they're doing pretty good also. They are doing pretty decent. Isn't like uh, Ben Simmons actually making shots? I'm not too sure, but I just know Doc is running that team pretty well, so... It's Doc, man. You know, he's a main man, bro. Yeah. He, uh, he still has that... The worst 3-1 comebacks. Yeah. <laughs> like, four teams. Fucking... This man, Stephen A. Smith, said that Kyrie Irving should retire. Yeah, what do you think about that? That's pretty, uh... That's pretty, I agree. That's pretty straight in your face. I agree. I was like, whoa. I agree. It's, and this is for I was a Cavs fan. I love Kyrie Irving. He was great for our team. He did great and all that stuff. And I think he's a pretty like decent basketball player too. But like, yeah, his fucking personality and ego, bro, grew way larger than the game after he won that championship and made that shot. Way larger than the game, bro. Like, it's whatever. Like, and like not to be that way either too. Like, he got money, so it don't matter. Like, he can literally retire and yeah. have hella money and live a great life right now and like yeah. do what he wants to do. It's just like I don't know, man. Like I said, like he, I don't know. Yeah, he's just I don't know. He's kind of a prick to be honest with you. Yeah. I hate to, I hate to say that. He just seems like he cuz I mean you can't you can't call like reporters and like people you like in the same workplace as you even though you make more money than pawns, you know what I mean? Like that's hella disrespectful and <clears throat> he was just it just kind of kept like felt like it was just coming like right after another after another like he just mm-hmm. didn't know all the stuff and now all this stuff and with Kyrie not being you know able to play for who knows how long like at least the next four games. Well, yeah, they have, like, at least rapid testing, so, I mean, they could get it done in 24 hours, but, yeah, they're going to make them wait at least probably a week. Yeah. Yeah, they're, I'm pretty sure they're going to make an example out of Kyrie for this one. You know what I mean? They're going to have a little book at him and just... Listen to Stephen A. Smith and retire. Fucking retire. Yeah, I don't know if he did. And just... Lunch. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> James Hardon and my man Kevin Duranto. Or Kevin Durantula. I mean, because he did breach the contract, and if it's a real breach, it, uh, the Nets could, they could drop him. They could literally drop him if they wanted to. If he breached the contract. Yeah, you are right. Technically, they could drop mm-hmm. his ass. They should. Damn, that'd be a fucking ego blow to that fool, though. 
Maybe the world is isn't flat after all. Huh? <laughs> he's like flat Earth, flat Earth. <laughs> That's where he was at. He's looking for the. <laughs> he's like, he's world. like, flat Earthians, where are you? And Demarcus Cousins right here, like, God damn! <laughs> the Earth ain't flat. It's round, motherfucker. Um, I'm with you, Demarcus. Fuck it. But again, the trade wasn't too bad. I think that it was a good four-way trade. Again, like I said, even with my team getting the trickle effect, I feel like that's awesome. We got a nice center out of it. Jared Allen, literally a legit center. Centers and power forwards. <laughs> for sure. We want more. <laughs> yeah. We'll take more, too, if you guys want anything. I mean, for the Cavs, it's not bad. They have a future. Now they can trade Drummond if they want to. If they, they can that's what there. I'm saying. Or, like, we can actually have a good rotation of big men. Like, what's wrong with that? What's having like what's wrong with having, like, a huge interior thing? Like, imagine Jared Allen and Andre Drummond out there at the same time. Whoa. Or like we said, having one of them come off the bench. Whoa. Yeah. And then I think Kevin Love's not coming back at all. Huh? Like, Probably not, man. Like super injured or something. Emotionally, yeah. <laughs> Emotionally. I like I like Kevin um Kevin Love, man. He's a great player and stuff. And like I said, I get where he came from with the whole entire emotional thing and all other stuff. But yeah, no, he's probably not coming back. Yeah. Yeah, he'll probably, uh, like you said, he looked like an assistant coach the other game, remember? You're like, yeah. oh, is that an assistant coach, Love? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, man, yeah, it did look like it. But it's fine. Like I said, he did a great th uh, thing for the team, and he, dude, he was awesome for the Timberwolves. Like, come on, dude. Remember that fucking, like, what, what was that, like, two seasons or whatever, back-to-back, -back, where he just had, like, insane rebounds? Like, yeah, it was really actually, just uh, dumbass rebounds? I saw him play in, one, in person in Sacramento one time. See? So, and it's like, dude, and like, like I said, like, they're really, like, some show did like a thing on him and like how he rebounds like it was like that like humanly impossible like you know what I mean like so <laughs> I was like is he my is oh, okay I was like is he here I was like you're trying to tell me that I have a booger thank you like you're hella subtle just tell me I have a booger um. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do blow right there man um, what's up with the Clippers I haven't heard anything much from them they've been I don't even know the Clippers suck. That's why you haven't heard anything. Ooh, from uh, Porzingis. He came back today. He did. He yeah, the, he today. came back to play for the Mavericks. You're right. Um, yeah, right here with the... He's probably killing it right now. They, they won. Yeah, they won 104-93. So what do you think they can do with Porzingis back in their lineup? Man, with Luka and uh, Kristaps, man, like, I think that's going to be amazing, dude. Like That's going to be fun to watch. Uh, you think they're going to be like a top top three, top four team with them? or is that yeah, Top five, yeah. Top five. Top five. For sure, I think they could actually be the top, the number three seed in the. Uh, the you West, think? Yeah. Because um. Yeah, hold on, kind of with like this whole entire Rockets thing happening, and Denver's not really looking too hot either. I mean, they're not. They're not. And then Utah, what's what's the standings? Let's check out. The standings. Yeah, you want to see standings? Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Oops, sorry. So standings for Eastern Conference. You want to start with Eastern or Western? Let's, do, let's look at the West. And just gotcha, see gotcha. Who's, uh, in the playoffs right now, the top eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Jazz, the Jazz are actually killing it, huh? All right, let's do that. So it seems like for now it's like the top two to five. Looks like two to five is about uh, even right there. So there's the Mavs. Um, yeah, look, Mavs at five. Honestly, I think that's how it's probably gonna stay. I think I think Golden State might trail out there a little bit. Um, Golden State's gonna drop down for sure. I mean, Steph is looking pretty cool out there, though. I mean, you see he had a little couple uh, bad shooting droughts, though, but they won with that. Mm -hmm. You see uh, that one dude? I think his name's Lee. Um, yeah, see. he's been going off and like, oh, what about Kelly Ober Jr. or whatever, dude? He's been okay for them. He hasn't been too good. I think that, like, okay, you're right. As far as, like, um, like you're right. As far as, like, box score statistics, he's not really doing the best. Like, dude, let's be honest. He's been, like, that guy on the court that, like, you know what I mean, you want. Like, yeah, you mean, like, he's been, like, that dude that's been, like, I'm a little pest. I'm going to do things. I'm going to get that extra rebound. I don't think, I don't see him fit into their, like, their system. Dude. Nah. He's more nah. of, like, because in the, with the Suns, dude, he was killing it, bro. He was. He was. He was, and like I agree with you on that. I don't think he really fits in that system either. You know what I mean? How do you feel about the Spurs? Uh, I like the Spurs. I, I I see them being like a seven or eight seed though. Oh, did you? Where was it? No, no, no. Did you hear about, about that playing that they're doing? So it's like there's like ten teams that can get in, and then like the bottom like three teams fight for like the eight seed or something like that whoa yeah it's a play-in tournament that they're doing or something like that i'm not too sure about the rules and how it's working um I'll whoa think. that's interesting yeah maybe you could look that up mm -hmm. yeah i got you i got you i'll do that right after mm -hmm. the eastern too i want to just take a look at the eastern thing cool so celtics okay okay I was wondering. Like I said I have them coming out of the east. So even with this this, this trade happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I was like, I was like, oh shit! I was like, they're on top still. Same with the Bucks. That's awesome. 76ers, Pacers. What do you think about the Pacers? So now that they have Harris Levert, I think they're going to be a legit 
playoff. They're probably gonna be. They're gonna. Be, I think they're gonna stay where they are. Like at least four, five, okay. three, like around that area. Um, they, the Hawks are definitely getting knocked the fuck out of there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're definitely getting knocked the fuck out of there. And the yeah, Nets will go up. They don't have enough talent. They don't have enough talent to run with uh, those teams. I mean, if they make it, they're just gonna get swept. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Be one of those teams. That's <clears> gonna, when it comes to a really good team, right? It's yeah. gonna get swept. Um, and then you're saying what again for the playing tournament NBA? So teams seven and eight would need only to win one game in the two tries, while the teams nine and ten would have to win two in a row. So it's pretty much a knockout, and this the NBA, yeah, it's pretty much a, I guess like a wild card thing. Um, <clears throat> the the NBA has been really really trying to push this for like the past couple of years. I've never been seeing this. And everybody's been slid about it, but since it's a shortened season, they're experimenting with it, and they're doing this. And I wanted to hear your thoughts about it because I think this is weird. It makes the it makes it more exciting, but I don't I don't know how good it's gonna work because I don't know. Yeah, it just gives us more excitement for the season and like you know more like uh, plays to watch. You know, yeah. like <clears throat> I don't really think anything like too much of it. To be honest, I don't. It's not really impressing me too much. I'm like, I don't really yeah. want to watch it. Like, again, I will watch it because basketball is robbed, you know what I mean, this season and stuff like that. And, like, it kind of, like, rolled back over so fast, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So I'm down to watch it for that reason in general. But, like, as far as, like, a system, that would be normal. And, like, when we go back to normal, we'll see why. Yeah. There's usually 82 games anyway, and, like, it's a pretty big fucking season. Yeah. Um, I think another th- what people are trying to see with this, too, because I remember uh, they've been talking about this for, like, at least two years now. Um that you know how like sometimes a team would just you know miss a game and like lose one game and they're like oh they should have been in the playoffs but yeah something happened but they're like one two games away or like the other team won a game and you know yeah. they get so i guess that's one of the things where they just teams that they felt that should have gotten in and deserve a chance is i guess what the whole thing is hmm. so i don't know i'm not too sure but that's what they're trying to do. Hmm. I was like, we'll see how it goes. I was like, I, I was like, I definitely think we should comment back on that when it happens, so that yeah. way we can kind of like go through and kind of give like a more real feel experience on that. But like, if, just personally, I'm mean, I'm excited to watch it go down this season because of what's happened in the pandemic and everything going on. So I am excited to watch it and see yeah. it unfold. But yeah, when we go back to normal season, I don't really need this. No. I just getting my playoffs and like I said, yeah. like you know, in the normal season. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I was like, that's kind of cool though. Like you said, essentially, you put it perfect. It's like a knockout like type thing. You know what I mean? So that'd be fun to watch. You're right. Um, what about Lamelo Ball? Mr. Ball. Balling. What do you think? I was like, that? Lamelo Ball. He's cool, man. Like. The youngest player to knock a <clears throat> double the other night. Yep. 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 I was like, um. Oh, did we talk about this? How we kind of like we got over like the whole entire Lonzo thing? Like, uh, like right? What's his brother's name? Lonzo? Is it Lonzo Ball? Yeah, 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 the other brother, yeah, yeah, like, like you know, I, was that me and you that was having this conversation about how, like, you know, what I mean, like, we didn't really like him at first, but he's actually kind of came around. Yeah, he's yeah, a little yeah, better, yeah, yeah. and it's it's the same thing, man. Like I said, like I agree, Lonzo Ball kind of came around, but yeah, Lamelo came in just fucking flaunting it, and he had like, dude, he could dime hell of fucking yeah. hard, bro. Like he has hella mad dimes, and like I said, I'm I'm actually excited to watch him. I just I just think it's funny how people make a huge deal how like they're like oh my god, imagine playing with your brother, imagine playing against your brother when there's like. 10 active brothers in the league right now and there are people that are like oh but you know Giannis has both his brothers playing uh Drew Holiday has both his brothers playing uh I think they one of them are even playing with each other yeah uh, I think same thing for Giannis I think yeah, one of his brothers are playing with him uh the Brooklyn Twins oh yeah <laughs> and they played with each other last year I think or the year before something like that so I don't know why people are making a huge deal acting like the like these two guys are <laughs> if you want my honest opinion bro Clout from the dad, bro. Cloudy Spoken clout. Existence. Stay in your lane. Stay, in, dude. Ah. Clout. Apparently, to people, to people, he's the greatest dad of all time. Well, dude, yeah, peanut butter and clout sandwich. <laughs> peanut butter clout sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, dude. I fucking hate that guy. We're not even talking about them. <laughs> Because seriously, I'll ruin the podcast. You're like, dude, we have to stop. He's like, he, what did he say? Something like, I had to find a, a tall woman. Genetics. <laughs> Straight up, he was like, "I am a breeder." <laughs> you could fill up a fucking book of all the stupid, all the stupid shit he says, bro. Like straight up, I am a breeder. <laughs> I breed, dude. That's hot. 
purebred. He fucked his sister. <laughs> Lamella's a fucking <laughs> the product of fucking sister fucking dude. Oh my gosh. But you can play ball though. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I said, the whole entire hype of like the brothers and the stuff being or like the family being the league like yeah we got over that like you said the the holiday brothers were like a good example of it dude shit blake griffin had his brother in there remember snake griffin had his older brother i don't remember that yeah bro been like, yeah bro he was a fucking bench player bro snake griffin's older brother who was like fucking like balding oh, bro I think I remember yeah it's, it's like, like fucking Calias griffin or something yeah, like that yeah, bro yeah, yeah. yeah bro and like i said like he played and he was like doing his thing for a minute man you know what i mean mm -hmm. like so again it's the whole entire hype of that's kind of over and i bet you if we went back in history and seen it i bet you there's shit from the 80s 70s yeah but it's still cool. I'm excited to see like them kind of do their thing. See how Lamelo kind of throws these dimes, gets his game back a little bit more. He needs to work on that jump shot. That jump shot's boo boo garbage. Yeah, you know what I mean, like what is? Yeah, he has a weird because <laughs> straight up. Um... It's like those like high school kids that you see out on the basketball court when yeah. you're like, God damn it, like these guys are fucking fuck these guys. I'm actually I'm kind of excited to see what the Hornets do because I feel like for mm -hmm. the longest time they were just eight seed, eight seed swept or just barely made the playoffs were just terrible. But now they actually have, like, a le like legit okay squad to maybe make, like, a 7-6 seed in the uh, East. But, um, Thank you, Michael Jordan. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's just tough. Who do you see uh, coming tough. out the East? It's tough. What's up? Who do you see coming out the East? Well, looking at these standings, like, I mean, I definitely, like... I know like... it's early and everything, but... Yeah. Fun to have these conversations. No, yeah, for sure, for sure. I definitely agree with you. Um, like honestly, man, who I want to come out of the East, I want to see the the Heat come back out of the East. Yeah, for sure. Yep. They could, I mean, I, I think they're going through injuries right now or something weird. Mm, I don't know, but they're four and five. I mean, that's not terrible. Mm. Like you said, it's the beginning of the season still. That's then, dude. It's Mike Spolstra yeah. with a four and five <laughs> record. Like we're 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> They're definitely gonna finish positive, you know what I mean? Like, I definitely think that. But like, I want to see them come back out. Like that, that, that whole entire series was like pretty dope. Yeah, dude. I want to, honestly. Jimmy Butler. I I really would just want to see Giannis come out the fucking East so bad, dude. So bad. I think we a lot of people do, man. So bad. I, th I think after last year, a lot of people just gave up on him because they're always like, they're they're putting him in the James Harden category. Nah, where he, where he can't, nah, he can't get Giannis out. is still too young and still like, and is like, definitely like barely peaking in his prime. I mean, he did he did sign the max super max when everybody was saying he wasn't going to. So true. He does have his own Nike shoe. The yeah. Greek, yeah, the Zoom freaks. The Zoom freaks. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, See, look, Steve Nash is like you pussy ass motherfucker. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, the Bucks though. With to be honest, I'd, I'd really just like to see him just kind of, just give him some goddamn support. I need. I want to see him get a post game, man. I want to see him get in the post and start working like just bodying people because there's no way. Because right now he's just like high flying and dunking, huh? Pretty much, he just runs through the lane. He kind of has sort of like a three point shot like he'll make like you know, alright like you're right his jumper's alright it's better than it was when he first he, came in but like yeah. I just think still, he's a high flyer he's still player. Uh, air ball and free throws and shit dude so he needs to work on his jumper a lot but I think he should just work his back to the basket and just work on from there because there's there's not much you can do with that body with that length not many people in the league can match up with like that. Kevin Durant yeah. look at Kevin Durant yeah. He has stroke, and look how good he is. Like, I mean, he's shooting over people constantly. But just imagine Kevin Durant with LeBron's body, like with LeBron's muscles. <laughs> well, Kevin Durant's size, not skill-wise. but no, 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 no. I know what you mean. I know what you're getting at, bro. Because, like, fucking, yeah, Kevin Durant's like a twig. Yeah. Makes no sense. He's always been like that. He I know. Never... He just can't, like, I remember when he first came into the league, he was shooting, like, fucking, uh, like, medicine balls. So he could build up strength. Mm. Like, he was shooting literally the medicine balls from three and shit, bro. To, like, mm. literally, like, fucking, like, build up his strength. So that's why he's, like, water. Yeah. Like I said, man, that man fucking Kevin Durant's raw. But I, um, Giannis, like I said, it'd be nice to see him kind of come out with the Bucks Because, like I said, it's definitely, like, a long time coming for him. And, like I said, he's a great player. And, like, it's always sad watching these great players kind of fade away or, like, fall to the wayside, right? Yeah. But he just needs more support cast. And he needs a better coach. I thought Mike Budenholzer would be good, but it just doesn't work with him, I guess. Nah, not the booze. Not the booze. Not the booze, bro. You gotta listen to liquor, not the booze. <laughs> <laughs> 
but this uh this basketball season though in general man is gonna be good like i said it's, it's definitely still early in the season so it's nice commenting on this and stuff but um kind of going into that like i said I, i'd like to see the um the heat come back out of the uh the, the east for sure and then for the western conference like dude it'd be hella cool to watch like i said like the mavericks come up like the mavericks that and the heat crazy. would be fucking sick that would be crazy i just don't know It'd be sick, dude. I was like, I know the Lakers are definitely a powerhouse and stuff like that. I get it, I get it, I get it. But man, just imagine Luca and fucking Kristaps, man. I think their time will come because they got they got a few years to, like, to keep developing. Going, yeah, Kristaps yeah. literally just came back. I get it, I get it, I get it. Do you want me to shoot the shit about some football? Talk about these goddamn fucking Browns advancing from the Steelers? Yeah, let's hear about that. Man. Yeah, I dude, I, I got you. Yeah, I was like, I got you on that too. You want me to talk about that? Because like, I was dumbass shocked. I was literally joking with everybody. Like, here we go. Fucking Browns coming into fucking the playoffs, and all of a sudden, like, fucking they actually fucking beat the Steelers, yeah, and they actually dude. did it like pretty good. Yeah, man, I seen I seen the score of what was it was like. I'll got you right now. Thirty seven to like twelve or some shit. It's not. Even, it wasn't even like the score really too much, man. It was just like the fact that they were actually playing good. Like and then didn't didn't they have a chance to like beat them and mm-hmm. but and they fucked off they uh, played the uh, they played them with the bench players or whatever mm-hmm. they rested their starters so forty eight thirty seven it wasn't that terrible okay. a score and a bang out I think the game you're maybe thinking of was like nine to twenty one which was that Bears and Saints game mm-hmm. which was a fucking bang out which we all knew was gonna happen because like everyone going into the playoffs was like the Bears are looking cool with their offense they're just like let's fucking sling it like look what happened bro look what fucking happened how embarrassing. Embarrassing. embarrassing and then um yeah so we got the buccaneers beating washington which let's just say that like it's amazing that the washington um like football team even made it there bro really? they had a lot of adversity in the beginning of the season yeah. with their fucking name change and all that stuff That's and like true, stuff going yeah. through there and also to like ron Rivera coming in and like i said like he's actually like a throat cancer survivor and stuff like that and some other things but he's a great coach and like molding people and dude they're fucking quarterback like heineke bro this random guy out of nowhere, like Alex Smith, like I said, like I think got hurt again and like they had to bring Heineke out and like he was bombing that shit and doing a really good job. Jeez. So like I said, like they actually came out of nowhere, man, did really good and like I said, they only lost by a little bit. It wasn't that terrible of a loss. To the Buccaneers, you know what I mean? Like Tom Brady and other people like that. But the Browns game and the Steelers game was more of like that game that kind of like, caught me because I was like, Baker Mayfield advanced through the playoffs. But it's just, it's just sad because um, it's what you said about the basketball thing. Like, they're gonna go in here now. They're about to get beat by a good ass team. Yeah, like it's the fucking Browns, bro. They're about to be beat by a good ass team. Uh, it's gonna be like the Bills or like the fucking. Kind of Rams. a waste. It's like kind of a waste of a series. It's like it's almost like you were like, oh, I wish that the Steelers would actually pull their heads out of the ass unless on that you're one. Like a fan of them, you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's hear a Browns like, fan. You're like, we're doing it, baby. We're in fucking Cleveland, twenty fucking twenty one. But it's not gonna happen. They won though, like they just were like. The Cinderella story. You already know. Baker Mayfield's gonna get more commercials. I was like, I was like, you know He's what I mean? So many commercials now. <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. is gonna be like, we have Hulu Live Sports, but like we have more Live Sports. Hulu Live Sports and Sunday. But yeah, they um the Browns played good in that game though in general though. So like kudos to them for that. They did play good. Like they had some uh, good like plays and like they, their their offense was really like clicking and like running right there. So again, kudos to them for that Baker Mayfield. And I've I've said this. I like Baker Mayfield as a quarterback. It's just like he's not consistent. He doesn't come through like when you really 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 need him. Yeah. But dude, he could fucking do it. Like it kind of reminds me of um. But he eventually started taking his team's places. But it reminds me of Kirk Cousins for the Minnesota Timberwolves. No, sorry, Timberwolves. Ha. Minnesota Vikings. My apologies. <laughs> These Minnesota teams, guys. But, um, yeah, no, so, like, Kirk Cousins, though, he's just, like, a great fucking, like, uh, like field general and, like, football player. But, like, you want him for fantasy, not, like, championships. Got you. I got you. you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, I was like, if that makes sense, you want yeah. him for fucking fantasy, not championships. Yeah. Yeah, Baker sense. Mayfield, you don't want for either. But, uh, <laughs> like I said, uh, also, too, the Ravens and the Titans. I want to bring that game up, too, really quick because, like, I was really, really sad because I wanted the fucking Titans to go. I mean, Lamar Jackson, he does this thing, bro. He's a great fucking player. And, like I said, um, John Harbaugh in general, like the coach okay, for yeah, the actual yeah, team, yeah. too, really good. So it's nice to even see them advance and go forward. But I wanted Derrick Henry and the Titans to go. Ryan Tannehill has been doing really good, too, as well. 40-year-old fucking quarterback, really running and doing his thing. Dude. Like, come on, man. You can't really, like, be mad at that. And then uh, Josh Allen and stuff like that for the Bills did really good. They beat the uh, Colts, so they beat Phillip Rivers, old head. They beat them, and like I said, they're about to go into that. So, like, the game's coming forward, man, and about to be really cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's about to be really cool. When's the next game's on? Sunday or Monday? Yeah, I want to say, yeah, they're going to be coming up this Sunday. So, let's just, like, uh, double look. Division rounds. So, boom. Yeah, so it's going to be Saturday, actually. Saturday, one sixteen. So, yeah. 
It's going to be at 1.35 p.m., the Rams and the Packers. And then also, too, on Saturday, it's going to be the Ravens and the Bills. And then Sunday will be the Browns and the Chiefs. See, that's what I'm talking about. They're playing yeah. the Chiefs. Okay. They're playing the Chiefs. Even the, <laughs> even the Steelers are playing the Chiefs. Damn, dude. So, come on. And then it's the Buccaneers and the Saints. So, Buccaneers, Saints will be good. Ravens, Bills will be good. Rams, Packers will be good. And then we don't want to watch the fucking Browns and the Chiefs long then. <laughs> come the fuck on, bro. Like, what are we doing here, bro? Yeah, it sounds like it's... Uh... Can we give that game up already? It sounds like it's gonna just a waste of time. Just like, you're gonna you're trying to tell me that Tyree Kill, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, all these motherfuckers are gonna literally fucking be beat out by fucking Baker Mayfield? It could happen, man. Let's do this. Let's do one of the players' name real quick. Okay. Do you have any that you were thinking of? Or? Um, I mean, I, we could talk about, like, I just said him, we could talk about Brandon Roy. Brandon Roy. Yeah, because, like I said, I feel like, dude, he was a person that got robbed of a fucking great career. He was a beast, dude. He was a freaking beast for people who don't know, like, I mm-hmm. mentioned Brandon Roy. And his, his it's crazy, though, because his highlights, when you look them up, they're all, like, hella old and <laughs> the hella yeah. grainy and shit. But that, that dude had some bounce. He could shoot the ball. He had mm-hmm. off the ball. He was athletic. He was a good slasher. I was going to say that, too. I was like, he was a great slasher for sure, and he was a great ball handler for, mm-hmm. like, a shooting guard because he played the two. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? But, like, most of the time, like you said, he had, like, you know, the handle, so, like, he'd come up the court with the ball all the time. You know what I mean? He'd yeah. usually be playing that, like, that one position. So, yeah, he was great, man. He was, like, and then also, too, he was, like, great in the um, the locker room, too, as well. So Definitely. That was even better. Definitely. All-around um, great player. <laughs> yeah, he, well, he just had bad, like, knees and legs. And yeah. Just all these injuries that just couldn't. He tried to come back for the Timberwolves. He like sure 2011, did. 2011, 2012, some wrong. 2000, I think 2011, you're but right. His, his body just couldn't keep up with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is so sad. It was sad to watch that happen because I thought that was going to happen to Derrick Rose, too. You know what I mean? Like, I thought, like, Derrick Rose would fall down like that, but, you know, more more power to him, man. Thank God that he, like, rose could, up from that. Could be the technology, too. Just a 100%. Better, just more more advanced, better, yeah. yeah. Modern medicine, for sure. Mm-hmm. Brandon was like, I have a robotic knee now. He's like, <laughs> who wants to see me, bitch? He's just even He's, like, pushing the button. <laughs> But the thing is, like, too, with Brandon Roy, like, I don't know, like, even with the team that he did have, you know what I mean? Because, like, um, what was that? Like, I think Marcus Aldridge was on that team with him for sure. Because yes, Marcus yes. was out there with Portland That's, that's uh, when he was, like, a rookie. Mm-hmm. And then, so, like I said, like, they could have maybe done something, had some type of potential to go forward or something. But, like, they wouldn't have done too much. Brandon Roy probably would have eventually been traded somewhere and, like, you know what I mean? Like, took his talent somewhere else. Because yeah. if he actually stayed healthy is what I'm getting at. You know what I mean? Like, if he would have stayed healthy, he would have definitely took his talent somewhere else. Only real Portland fans know about Brandon Roy, you know what I mean? Like, hardcore I think, basketball fans, but, like, Portland fans in general. Because he was... He, he was, was a legend. He was supposed to be what um, David Lillard is now to that franchise. Like... Brandon Roy is going to be the He was supposed to be person. Clyde Drexler, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Bring him to the fucking, the promised land. But Clyde just, Drexler never. No, but you know what I mean, though. Like, yeah. you, like you know, like, for instance, like you said, like, every he, Portland. He's supposed to be the Bill Walton. No, oh, <laughs> shit. Big <laughs> Daddy <laughs> Bill. Uh, uh, Portland legend. Now. <laughs> straight up, straight up. I mean, I'm Bill Walton, if you guys really want to know. But, no, yeah, like I said, like, <laughs> I'm Bill. My daddy's Luke. I mean, Luke's my son. I'm Bill. <laughs> But yeah, Brandon Roy, like I said, he was a great basketball player, man. Like, had great IQ for the game and, like, a great love and respect for the game, too, as well. So, it was always nice watching him play. So, like yeah. I said, I, it's – like they always say, it's poetry in motion for sure. And he was definitely a great poet to the game. Yeah, definitely was, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, the one I was going to bring up – and he played for Portland for a little bit, too. Um, Johnny Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> that guy uh, – just imagine drafting that guy ahead of Steph Curry. I think he went like second or something like that. Well, let's not be like, let's not be that way. Like, he was, Johnny Flynn was pretty cool in like Syracuse. Yeah. Like, you know, like coming from college, so I kind of see why he got drafted. Like, he was pretty cool. I'm pretty sure nobody saw Steph come to Steph, anyways. Like, besides maybe like. Seth. Like, like yeah. <laughs> but, um. Even Seth Curry's like, nah. The guy I was going to name was kind of, a, kind of a journeyman, and he's been around the league. And he was around the league for like a good while, too. He had a solid career. Um. But he didn't really get to do too much. But Andre Miller. Andre! That fool, he didn't have bounce. I mean, earlier in his career, he had sneaky hops. But Let's see he was built off pure skill. <laughs> yeah. No joke. IQ and skill. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, my, my, the reason I was laughing is because as a funny thing where Derek Rose crossed him up and his shoes fell off or some shit. Andre Miller's shoes fell off. Hold on. Hold on. But, um... Yeah, Andre Miller was 
super legit player, solid fucking career, uh, like a good bench guy. Probably it seemed like somebody you want in your locker room, like somebody that could you know chill down the little guy, the younger guys. You know what I mean? But um, but yeah, dude. So this, yeah, he was he was he was a good player. He was a good guy, a smart guy, high IQ. He did. You got to travel and see a lot of different places too, as well as far as like a career and stuff. So, so he, he had a, he had a good he had a good solid career. It's just sadly, he was never on a good enough team to win a championship. You know, so um, too bad he couldn't bench ride. <laughs> so any uh, any final thoughts on this crazy NBA day that we had? Any- um, like honestly, again, just kind of what I was saying earlier. I'm super excited to see how this series and like uh, this the uh, actual like uh, season, sorry, unfolds. How we're gonna go into that? I'm excited a little bit more for football right now. To be mm-hmm. honest with you, like, don't get me wrong, I love basketball more than anything, but you know, football's looking really cool right now. I'm kind of like interested mm-hmm. to see those teams. Playoffs though, so it's mm-hmm. hard mm-hmm. not to be excited. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And we're about to have the Super Bowl coming up, and like, you know, for my teams for the NBA, like, I definitely, like I said, I'd like to see like the Mavericks and the Heat. Yeah, that'd be really cool to watch. Yeah, I mean, I, I I'd love to see that old Lakers Celtics rivalry happen just at least a couple one more time before. You know, while we're alive, baby. I know, right? While we're alive. All right. So uh, thank you so much, Keith. It's all good, man. Thank you. Pleasure. These ones are gonna be a little bit shorter than uh, the regular podcast, but like I said, check out the channel. Tons of more content on there. Um, if you like this, uh, if you stick around for this long, thank you so much. Drop a comment about what you're going to be most excited about for this season. Who do you think is going to come out? Um, who do you think is going to win in the NFL for the Super Bowl? Who's going to make it up there? And just any of your predictions. And if you have any suggestions or anything for us, we'd love to hear them. So, like I said, thank you again. It's Keith. all good, man. Thank you. Episode one of the K&B Sportscast. Mm-hmm. All right, in the books. Out. We Take out. Easy.